Hello, hello. It is Tuesday and it's creativity week, which means we need to do a little crafty time, right? So I'm going to give it a couple minutes. My name is Jen Pittabach and I'm with By the Shore Stamping. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm super excited to be offering creativity week this week. Um, I'm going to just double check to make sure I went live in the right place and make sure you guys can find me. So give me one second while I sort all of that out. If you've been joining me for Creativity Week, I hope you are, I am in the right place, so that's good. I hope you're enjoying it, and if you haven't joined me yet, go ahead and look in the description of this video and you can join the email list for Creativity Week. We just started yesterday on September 19th, so we have lots more fun mm -hmm. in store. So I hope you can join me for the week. Let's go ahead and turn this around. Today we are talking all about inspiration. So let me just quickly catch you up if you are just joining us. Um, so make sure you have your workbook for Creativity Week. And for day two, we have inspiration. So your your challenge for the week was to snap a picture, or for the day rather, was to snap a picture while you're out and about today um, to inspire your next creative session. So I wanted to show you that in progress. So I don't have a picture from today necessarily, but um, I have a picture that I'm going to use as my inspiration. Um, if you are part of Creativity Week and you got the um, email today, you'll have this 10 pictures to take to inspire you in the craft room. So I'm using the Use Nature's Color from a photo on a walk as my inspiration piece. So this is the piece that I pulled this morning from my stash. This is, I don't know what happened. I think it got wet and they got stuck together. But I just love, and I couldn't find the other one. I had another one too. So I'll have to reprint this one for my scrapbook. But um, this one is just, I just love the colors. They just really scream fall. And I have this new stamp set, or new to me, new-ish to me, stamp set, Hello Harvest, um, with the coordinating little dies. And I just thought these two things would pair really well together. So I wanted to create a nice fall card and this obviously was the perfect inspiration piece for that fall card. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a, oh, and I thought I already cut it, but I guess I didn't. Let me start with a, oh wait, yes I did. Is this the right size? I want a three by four, nope, that's not the right size. I want a three by four inch piece of um, basic white cardstock is where I'm starting. And I'm going to do some blending. I think this is one of my favorite things to do. It just makes me feel so artistic and creative, even when I may not be. So I grabbed some colors from um, what I thought was the photo. So let me just show you. Hey, ladies. Thanks for joining me. So here's the photo again. So I grabbed pumpkin pie. It should be like this. Cajun craze and cherry cobbler. Um, I don't know if that speaks to you. I could probably put in yellow too if I wanted. Um, but I ended up with these three colors and I thought it worked out great. You could also add in some green if you wanted to. But sometimes when you're doing this kind of inspiration piece, you don't want to get stuck and it has to be too literal. So you want to make sure you're kind of taking big swift gestures from it, not like getting really nitty gritty and being like, well, there's blue in it and there's green in it and there's yellow in it. And I got to put in all the colors, right? So we're just using this as a jumping off point. And you could use this as a jumping off point in the color scheme. You could use it in the trees. So maybe you want to just create a card featuring some trees. Maybe you want to create a card that is a reflection card, right? So there is a reflection technique. And if you scroll back long enough in my uh, YouTube feed, you'll find a reflection technique in there. Um, you could maybe do just the leaves, right? So all of these trees indicate the leaves um, all put together, right? So you could do a big cluster of leaves to make a really cool card. But I'm going to do some blending to create the colors. So I'm really pulling the blending or the colors from this um, piece. So that's kind of where I'm at. So we're going to start. I like to start with my lightest color first generally so I'm gonna start with um, pumpkin pie hey Stephanie hi Susan hey Elizabeth or Liz sorry oh well that wasn't good and Donna and I don't have 
leggings on today, you guys. I'll wipe it on my chair. Okay, because that's not going to be good when I start creating. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I should have some um, wipes handy, but I don't. All right, so I'm going to start with the pumpkin pie, and I'm going to pick up some pumpkin pie with my blending brush, and I'm going to just wipe some of that off, and then we're going to swirl that onto our card. So we're starting with our colors, and then I'll build from there. And I do kind of have an idea of where I'm going. I know a lot of times I do a sort of wing it sort of thing, but this one I kind of tested out. I did a dry run first, and I think I know where I'm headed, but that can always change, right? I didn't com fully complete the card because time kind of snuck up on me today. This week, time has been sneaking up on me. Okay. So then I'm going to switch to a different color. I'm going to go up to Cajun Craze. So we'll grab another blending brush. I'm going to pick up some color from this. Block that off a little bit. I'm actually going to block quite a bit because I want it to blend. So we're going to kind of blend it right into that orange. And... Make it a little bit darker at the top there. And blend it down. Okay. And what I love about this technique is every time you do this, it's going to look a little di bit different. And then we're going to grab the cherry cobbler. Um, this one's a pretty dark one, although my ink pad may not be as well inked as it should be. It's almost looking kind of like a little candy corn in different colors, right? Kind of like my pup the other day in her little Halloween costume. <laughs> Still cracks me up. All right, I'm going to go ahead, just add some color. And sometimes I like to just kind of blend that color all the way up. Just to kind of pull it all together. Really pull those colors together. Blend it all in, get rid of those harsh lines. Okay, so then we have that really pretty piece of paper. Isn't that fun? All right, so there's also a little bit of brown in that, and I just feel like, I don't know, um, it's kind of like, I was going to say crusty, but autumn is crisp. That's the word I'm looking for. Not crusty, it's crisp. So I just kind of feel like I want to add a little bit of distressing to the edge and I still have my my sponges you guys so Stampin' Up used to carry Stampin' sponges and these were my favorite so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just ink the edges of this just a little bit I don't know why that syndicates crisp to me but <laughs> that's what came to mind so this is all about this inspiring you right so here let me pull my inspiration piece back so you can see where my inspiration came from today. And just gonna do that, okay? So that's that piece. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I already die cut some little, um, I was gonna say oranges. They're pumpkins. I have die cut the pumpkins and some of the stems already. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have this little piece here which is part of the pumpkin and then I have this piece here which is the other layer of the pumpkin and I am going to go ahead and ink this as well actually I don't know why I put that away I'm going to distress this a little bit too so I'm going to grab this and we'll just add a little bit of distressing here okay and I'm going to do the same thing on this pumpkin before I assemble everything. Okay. Now, I also die cut some stems. I cut like a darker brown stem. I have a crumb cake stem. And I actually did the green stem, too, just because there was green in there. But I think I like the dark brown the best. So I'm going to just go ahead and assemble this. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. So let me add this here, popped up. 
So we're gonna add this center panel for my pumpkin. You guys, I kind of have to admit something. I'm gonna confess something to you. So I've always been a summer girl and don't get me wrong, I still love summer. I love sitting at the beach, but the older I get, the more I love fall. And I think part of it is just because we've had some new traditions now that, you know, I'm married to Nate and we have the kids and all that kind of stuff. So the, you know, the apple picking and the cider donuts and, you know, the trips to Freiburg Fair and the really cool crisp nights in the camper. Like, I just really love fall now. It's just really, um, and I, it's not that I know, that was always my second favorite season anyway it was also my mom's favorite so it's not like it's completely out of the left ball field and I'm not quite saying it's my favorite but I do really love fall so I'm kind of excited about this my only thing that I really hate and I think it's the reason why it makes it not my favorite is because I really don't like winter and that's what comes after it so <laughs> I think that's my issue but I don't know I'll have to go to therapy for that um and I don't know if this summer is any indication of our winter but they've been saying we could get a rough winter just because it was so hot this year. So I'm gonna go ahead, just add this with a little bit of liquid glue. Oops, come, oh, oh, like so. And I'm just gonna add that right here. And I put glue probably in places I didn't need to, but that's fine. And I'm going to see about, I want like a little bling right there in the center. So let's go ahead and grab my festive pearls. I have a couple more of these, um, these little gold elements, which I just feel gold works really well with these regal colors. I'm gonna put that right in the middle, okay. Yes, right? Why can't it be like fall, summer, spring? Just skip. I'm good skipping right over winter, which is kind of funny because Nate wants to move north. <laughs> and I'm like, not like anytime soon, but like that if we were, when we retire, like that's, that would be his like dream place. And I would love to go like live somewhere south because I just do not like, um, the winter at all. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little more of the orange in here. I feel like this looks more pinky and I want it to be more orange so I'm gonna do a little bit more orange in here it's funny that it kind of came out orange because I mean pink because it was all really dark kind of colors all right but that is the cool part of blending right it just sort of all right, that's a little better. So now, before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and take my crumb cake ink. This crumb cake is super dark. It's actually darker than, you know what? It's actually darker than my soft suede right now. So I'm gonna grab soft suede instead. I gotta, um, you can, I can come visit when you go So Yeah, I'm gonna have to be one of those people that like travel south for the winter. Although, I, like I said to Nate, I said if, if we, you really wanna move north, that's fine, but you have to expect that I'm not shoveling. I'm not coming out of my house. I'm going to stay in my craft room for the entire winter, which is going to be a real ta long time up north. And the only reason I might get out is if we have a hot tub that I can go out to in the snow, because I do like doing that. I like going in the hot tub in the snow. But that's about it. And so, and it must be really close to the door because I'm not running into wildlife in the middle of the woods. And I'm also not going to be running in my bathing suit for very far. So that's my, that was my compromise. Um, I will not be helping with any of the shoveling or the cutting of wood or any of that stuff. So I don't know where we landed on that, but that's just how I feel. Um, I do, I mean, I do like a cozy fireplace and some, you know, hot chocolate with a little bit of Bailey. So, I mean, there are parts of it that would be nice, but I'd have to go out and like grocery shop and, and things like that. And that just does not appeal to me. <laughs> All right, so I just did a little bit of a background with the leaves to kind of pull in the leaves from my inspiration, right? I'm going to do a little sentiment here, and I think I'm going to back this a little bit. Since I covered all of this with white, I mean, all the white is now color, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut a three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch um, 
matte for that colored piece, the blended piece. So it will just make it pop a little bit more. So I think I'm gonna do that and like that. Now I feel like I need a little bit of um, twine too, which of course I don't think I have here. Let me look really fast. I can't look with my glasses on my head. I think I only have gray in here and I really want crumb cake. Oh wait, what's this? What do I have? <laughs> Absolutely would be locking myself in the craft room. Would not be coming out. Oh, I have just a tiny little piece of the brown. Maybe I can make that work. I like to wrap it twice, but don't have enough for that. So let's be resourceful and see what we can do here. I could maybe do a little bow instead too. Let's see. I kind of wanted to bring it around this panel though. Let's see. Can she do it? Nope, not quite enough to do. Well, eh, maybe. How good can I be? Not very good. Look at how tiny that is. Mah. It would so make it too. I just don't have the dexterity for that. So what we'll do instead is I'm going to just do this and we'll tie it in a bow instead with just one wrap. I don't know why. I always like to wrap the panels twice. I don't know. Don't ask. I'm gonna wrap it on, I'm gonna tie the bow on this side just because that way I have a little more st even string on both sides. So we'll do that and then I can always move it. I think I'm gonna want it on the other side. But let's see. Okay. Nate is very much a outdoorsy kind of guy. And it's funny, we'll probably go skiing again in January. I did not go skiing this year. I had to stay home to work. You know, it was really tough. Like I had things I had to get done. I really did. I'm not lying, but I wasn't upset about not having to go skiing. Um, but this year I went two years ago for the first time in my life. And I think I'm just really nervous that at 40 something that I'm going to break a bone and it's just not going to be very easy to recover. <laughs> so um, I'm a little hesitant to go back, but I did really well until they made me go up on the little mountain. I, I was killing it. I was crushing it on the, the kitty trail. Um, then they were like, well, let's go up on the little medium mountain here. It's not bad. And I literally fell off the lift onto the mountain. So it was a bad start. And then like I would get going too fast and it would scare me. So I would jump in the woods. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was very interesting, but I did very well. I'm just not in any real rush to go back to that. I do like tubing though. That's pretty fun. But down the, uh, we usually go to, oh, I can't think of the mountain. Is it Black Mountain? I don't remember. No, it's not. It's the one, Cranmore. It's Cranmore Mountain. This little guy is bugging me because he's all twisted, but I think I'm going to have to just let him live. All right, let's go ahead and add this here. So I'm going to go ahead, I don't know, maybe I can leave it here. I do want to use a sentiment, so yes, I agree, Sunny. It does give it a little more weight as an element. I think, um, let's see here. I think I might use this one because I think that would be a little bit of interest to this. I, my bow might get in the way, but we'll figure that out in a second. So let me just move this to the side, grab a block. All right. And we'll use the, um, actually I'm going to use the crumb cake because I want it to be a little darker. I don't know that I have, um, any, I was going to use the soft suede. There we go. I got soft suede here. And yes, my crumb cake ink. I don't know if I inked it with the wrong color or just added too much ink, but it's very dark. So we're going to use this on crumb cake. Yep, see? I don't know what I did, but this one is very dark. Okay. I actually have a die cut for this, but... Um, I am, I'm going to just use my scissors. Stephanie, I'm using the Hello Harvest stamp set and the coordinating dies. 
So that's where I got the pumpkin and the little um, swirly for the pumpkin and the stem. And then I'm using this for the stamp set. And it does have a die to cut this out. But, um, so you can see it here. But it's on the other side of the room. So I'm going to just go ahead and quickly cut this while we chat. Um, obviously, it might it's faster probably for most of us to do this with the dies, but since it's super straightforward and I don't want to like leave dead here air here on the video to go find it, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Although I will say, as part of our task for creativity week day one, my room is half clean. So I cleaned this table although it's a hot mess again because i'm crafting and creating i cleaned the table in the middle of my room kind of like my workstation table there's just a little bit of stuff on there for shipping at the moment and then i cleaned the floor i even vacuumed and i put away all the stuff from the crop that i went to a couple of weeks ago so now all i have to clean is my shipping station my desk which isn't too too bad and then the, the other craft table that's normally behind me when I do lives. It is behind me, but you can't see it now that you're looking at my table. Um, that one is really bad and I keep putting it off because I don't want to deal with it, but we'll get there. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this. We're gonna put our pumpkin here and I think I'm gonna do this and we'll get it so that, here, let me do, hang on, let me do. Let me attach this to the center of my pumpkin. Wishing you the loveliest day. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'll put, I think I'm gonna put it up here. Come on. And I might need to move it over just a tiny bit. There we go. I kinda want it to fall no, actually, I want it to kind of fall right next to the pumpkin. There we go. Once I get it where I want it, I'll probably glue dot it in place, but I just want to make sure. I kind of like it to be nestled into one of the crevices here. There we go. Like that. All right, so let me do this. You looked for Life Handmade and you couldn't find that podcast link. So I will look to see if I can find it for you and share it in the group. Um, it's Life Handmade. Oh, I can't even look because it's on my phone. Um, and it's by, it's actually by, I think it's by, it's one of the magazines. It's not, it might be, I think it's scrapbooks or scrapbooks.com maybe. I forget. Um, it's one of the magazines or the websites that does it. So I'll have to see if I can look at that and see if I can find it again. It's a good one. I like that one. All right. I'm gonna make sure my pumpkin is straight. We'll put that on like so. Okay. There we go. Now my bow is looking the way I want it to. It even untwisted. Look at that. Okay. Then I'm gonna pop it onto here with some dimensionals as well. I will post the link if I can in the um, in the group for you. I'll find it after the live is done because I can't do it from my computer. All right, so let's do this. And we'll attach this here. Okay. And I just feel like we need a little bit of Wink of Stella to wrap this out. Let's add some to the pumpkin. Probably should have done this before I put the little thing on, but we'll make it work. Okay. I love it because it makes it a little bit darker too, although it'll probably dry. But there's that, and I might add some on these wink 
these leaves. Just be careful when you're doing this because it can make your, it's basically watercoloring with that ink, so you want to make sure you try and stay in the lines for the most part. Otherwise, it's gonna color outside the lines on you. Whoops, see how I just colored my white cardstock? Whoops, I will fix that in a second. Kind of like this one. It's not as bright and bold as the inspiration piece, but that's the whole point, right? You start with something, and I think that happens a lot of times with, you know, Pinterest and YouTube. Like you'll you'll be inspired by something, and then when you recreate it, it ends up looking nothing like what you were inspired by. But it still gives you that jumping off point to be able to get crafting, which is what we love, right? So, and I like how this one came out, so I'm happy. But I'll show you the inspiration piece again. There we go. Uh, where'd my cover go? Here it is. And then the other thing I want to do before I sign off is I'm just going to use my sand eraser to clean up that little boo-boo I had. Whoops. Okay. Perfect. And here's my inspiration piece. So, thank you, Liz. I appreciate it. Um, no, they're not my own podcast. Those are just my favorite ones to listen to. I do not have my own podcast. Um, maybe someday, but not now. <laughs> Too many other things in the fire, but the, yeah, they're just the pod, they're just the podcasts I like to listen to to inspire myself. So Liz popped the life handmade one in the comments, and I will post them up um, in the group too. But um, the other two is. Cultivate a Good Life is by Becky Higgins, so maybe search Becky Higgins. And then Elise Gets Crafty is just, um, I don't think that's sponsored by anybody. I think it's just her, so I'll have to look for that one for you, too. All right, there you go. So there is the inspiration piece and where the card went, which it's kind of funny because these colors don't really show up very um, boldly in this, but I used the blending to get those three colors in the background, but it really muted them. But I kind of like the rustic um, muted nature of this folk art. I think it's really pretty. So hopefully you guys like it too. And I can't wait to see your inspiration photos and what you create if you choose to. That's not part of the task. Um, you can create something with your inspiration photo if you'd like today, um, but that's not the requirement. You just have to post your photo um, so we can see what inspired you today. All right, my friends, I will see you again tomorrow for day three of Creativity Week. I hope you have a great evening and we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.